Welcome dear friends. Many of my viewers ask me how I split my video screen into 4 and 5 in my documentaries. So today I'm here to make a tutorial on the same issue. Furthermore, I'll also upload another video of a free video editing software called OpenShot. I'll also teach you the way how you can fix the sluggish moment of OpenShot. So let's go to the screen to watch it. Now OpenShot video free editing software is open. It has five tracks of timeline. So right click and remove the one. Now four tracks are available and we will import four videos of different length and width or different of nature vertical and horizontal so all four videos are uh, available now we will first down drag down the first video so let's see the right click and transform you can see that black lines at the top and the end are available so i simply drag down now let's right click layout left top one fourth left top now exactly as it has occupied a length and width of one fourth of the total screen in case if you have same video so that's very easy by creating or splitting screen now i have bring the next video layout one fourth we will select again and this time bottom left if you see that on the both side of the video black area is available so we will remove it and if you play it it looks odd so we will cover our screen perfectly right click property and now the property is open let's go and uh, click the scale X you can manually do it like the same way I am doing but sometimes it won't work so we have to feed the figures let's feed the figure 0 0.52 and now we will change the scale y let's make it uh, 0.89 now you have seen that both videos are equal but uh, right side image of the first the second video is visible so we will simply go and location x would be slightly changed it can be done through drag and drop or you can simply also by double click and feed like uh, minus 0 0.01. Now it's perfectly right and both are perfectly aligned. Half screen is still blank. Now let's check it. It's 50% screen has been occupied so play it. If you see that uh, the face of the person is not visible in the lower video, so we will simply go and we will change the Y position of uh, the second video. Highlight the second video and uh, you can see that I am doing this manually. Again click it and it's done. Drag it to the level you wish. Let's check it again the problem arises that the keyframe has been inserted so right click remove keyframe and then check again now it's perfectly okay both videos are correct and it doesn't disappear as it did in past so now let's go and bring the third video the third video is also have to be the right side on the top layout layout top right now 75 percent of screen has been occupied we will bring the last video which is a little tricky a vertical video and it's difficult to manage so let's see layout first right bottom the area is being selected however we will split it or we will stretch it a little so let's go and let's transition check it drag and drop it is hard to do this way so we will manually feed 
the figure in properties undo it and click the video and go to property now let's go to scale x suppose make it 0 0.85 and scale y should be a little on higher side so let's see 0.93 now change the location x so we may occupy the exact area we are doing this manually by drag and drop it's done and you can also change it or more precise fixation by feeding the figure in the box so let's check it and play it now all four videos are having the same and exact size so now let's cut it equally right click at the top of this and select slice all keep left side now four of four video be, would be precisely cut from start till end and your video will look good i hope you would have liked it thanks for watching please subscribe and share my video